Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the most significant events happening in the United Kingdom. From thrilling sports matches to impactful political decisions, we've got it all covered. It's been a roller coaster of a week with dramatic finishes in the Premier League, political shake ups, and some truly memorable sporting moments. We'll be covering it all, bringing you the highlights and analyzing the key talking points. So sit back, relax, and let's get stuck into another exciting edition of UK Highlights. Well, you can't keep them down for long, can you? Arsenal showed their title credentials with a hard-fought victory against Leicester City. A moment of magic in the final minutes secured all three points for Mikel Arteta's men. The victory sends Arsenal top of the Premier League. Leicester will be disappointed, but can take heart from a spirited performance. A real ding-dong battle at St James's Park as Newcastle United held reigning champions Manchester City to a hard-fought draw. The atmosphere was electric from the first whistle, with both sets of fans creating a cauldron of noise. Newcastle started brightly and took a deserved lead through insert goalscorer. City, as you'd expect, responded well and dominated possession for large spells. They finally found a breakthrough in the second half with Anthony Gordon converting a penalty to level the scores. It was a tense finish, with both sides pushing for a winner. But it wasn't to be, and the points were shared. A point against City is never a bad result, but Newcastle will perhaps feel they could have snatched all three. Nonetheless, it's a performance that demonstrates their progress under Eddie Howe. Talk about announcing yourself on the big stage. Cole Palmer stole the show at Stamford Bridge, bagging all four goals in Chelsea's convincing victory over Brighton. The young forward was simply unplayable, showcasing his blistering pace, trickery and clinical finishing. Brighton had no answer to his movement and direct running. Palmer opened the scoring early on with a composed finish, before doubling Chelsea's lead with a stunning long-range strike. He completed his hat-trick just before half-time, capping off a truly remarkable individual performance. But he wasn't done there. Palmer added a fourth goal in the second half, slotting home from close range after a slick Chelsea counter-attack. It was a day he'll never forget. Chelsea's manager, insert manager's name, was full of praise for Palmer after the match, describing his performance as sensational. The future certainly looks bright for the young star. Chapter 4 Duffield resigns Labour Whip. Labour MP Rosie Duffield has resigned from the Labour Whip, citing hypocrisy and cruel policies. This decision has sent shockwaves through Westminster. Duffield, representing Canterbury since 2017, has been a vocal critic of the party leadership. She expressed disillusionment with the Labour Party's direction. This resignation is a blow to Labour leader insert Labour leader's name. It remains to be seen what impact this will have on the party. Chapter 5 Tragedy at the Hawthorns A tragic incident overshadowed West Bromwich Albion's match against Sheffield Wednesday as a West Brom supporter sadly passed away following a medical emergency during the game. The match was temporarily suspended as medical professionals rushed to assist the supporter. However, despite their best efforts, the fan was pronounced dead shortly afterwards. Both clubs expressed their condolences to the supporter's family and friends. The incident has cast a sombre mood over the footballing world and serves as a stark reminder of the importance of medical support at sporting events. The thoughts and prayers of everyone at Channel Name are with the supporters' loved ones at this difficult time. 
Chapter 6 UFC Fight Night Paris delivers fireworks. Now for some high octane action from the world of mixed martial arts. UFC Fight Night Paris lived up to its billing, delivering a night of explosive knockouts, slick submissions, and some truly memorable performances. The Parisian crowd were treated to a feast of fighting, with several bouts going the distance and keeping fans on the edge of their seats. The event showcased the incredible skill, athleticism, and sheer determination of these elite athletes. It was a night that will live long in the memory for UFC fans in France and beyond. Turning our attention now to the weather, and it seems the UK is in for another battering from the elements. The Met Office has issued a wind warning for parts of the country, following a week of heavy rain and flooding. The warning is in place for mention affected areas, and is expected to last until mention time period. Strong winds, gusting up to mention wind speeds, are forecast, which could lead to further disruption and damage. The Met Office is advising people to take extra care when travelling and to secure any loose objects outside their homes. This latest weather warning comes as many parts of the UK are still recovering from the impact of recent storms. The Environment Agency has issued several flood warnings and emergency services are on standby to respond to any incidents. It seems the unpredictable British weather is showing no signs of letting up just yet. Over to Scotland now, where Celtic continued their impressive start to the season with a resounding victory over St Johnstone. The hoops ran riot at Celtic Park, putting six goals past a hapless St Johnstone side. It was a dominant display from Ange Postecoglou's men, who controlled the game from start to finish. Japanese forward Kyogo Furuhashi was the star of the show, bagging a brace and terrorising the St Johnstone defence throughout. The victory keeps Celtic at the top of the Scottish Premiership table and sends a clear message to their title rivals. They are the team to beat this season. As for St Johnstone, they'll be hoping to quickly forget this heavy defeat and regroup ahead of their next fixture. From the football pitch to the Strictly Ballroom now, and comedian Chris McCausland brought the house down on Saturday night with a show-stopping performance. McCausland, who is blind, received a standing ovation from the judges and the studio audience for his American smooth routine. His performance was praised for its elegance, grace and sheer joy. Speaking after his performance, McCausland said he was overwhelmed by the positive response. He said he hoped his appearance on Strictly would inspire others and challenge perceptions of disability. McCausland's performance was a highlight of the night and showed that anything is possible with hard work, determination and a good sense of humour. And finally, we end with a talking point from Craven Cottage, where Fulham edged out Nottingham Forest in a match that was not without its controversy. Raul Jimenez grabbed the winner for Fulham, but his goal sparked debate over the officiating of the match. Forrest were left fuming after Jimenez's goal was allowed to stand, despite appearing to be in an offside position. Replays were inconclusive, and the decision ultimately went in Fulham's favour. However, it was a bitter pill to swallow for Forrest, who felt hard done by. The controversy overshadowed what was otherwise a closely fought encounter. Fulham will be delighted with the three points, while Forrest will be left to rue what might have been. Well, that's all we have time for on this week's UK Highlights. From last-minute winners to political resignations, it's been another eventful week in this nation of ours. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more updates on the latest events in the UK. Until next time, it's goodbye.